Hey guys, Daniel James here, and in this video, I'd briefly like to uh, go over how you can uh, create and save your own multi instruments within Contact. Okay, so if I start off by just loading in a few random instruments here, okay, and then I'm going to just uh, adjust some of these parameters for the just to show you what's going on, okay. So, a multi instrument is basically a way of saving a contact instance. Uh, or saving all the settings within a setup of contact uh, so you can recall them at a later date. So say, for example, you um, created a custom sound effect using multiple libraries or you had a uh, particular setup you wanted to use again as a template and you'd adjusted many parameters and things like that. If you tried to uh, start a new project and get the exact same setup again without a multi, you'd have to load all these patches in individually again and then adjust all their parameters again, which is a waste of time. So all you have to do to create a multi is load in your instruments, uh, do all your parameter changes, and then go to File, Save Multi As. I'm just going to save this as Custom Multi. And that is it. All these settings, all these parameters are saved into that multi. And whenever I recall that, it will, uh, it will load it in exactly as it's set up right now. Um, just for the purpose of demonstration, if you look at String Ensemble Sustain S here, I've detuned it and panned it to the left. Now if I reset this multi and load that patch in again, you'll see that none of that information is saved onto the actual patch. So I don't have to worry about that um, affecting any of my regular setups. Um, but let's say I wanted to call that instance up again for a, uh, another project. I just go to File, Load, and then go to my custom multi yes and that's it all those parameters are exactly as they were when I clicked uh, when I saved the multi so I can load that in as many times into any projects that I like um, at any time and it's nice and simple and it's a good way of uh, setting up your own custom templates or loading in custom sounds that you've made like I did in my previous video where I created a dystopian sound and I can recall that anytime I like just by using the multi that I saved um, so as you can see, multis are very useful and also, and more importantly, very easy to do. And I hope that explains it in a nice, easy way for you guys to understand. And I uh, hope you found it useful. Uh, cheers for watching.